Benvenuti a questa lezione di, di verticali con Nina. Allora, um, io sarò la, la cavia. E per iniziare la lezione, iniziare il warm up, ci serve un muro, un, un materasso da yoga e poi un, un asciugamano da piegare oppure un cuscino. Quindi intanto saluto Nina. Hi Nina, thanks for being here with Hello. us. Um, noi seguiamo Nina il suo lavoro su Instagram, eh, vi, vi alleghiamo sotto la reference. È, è un, un programma molto bello, abbiamo chiesto di, di aiutarci a, a ideare, insomma, a, a offrirvi delle, degli esercizi sulla verticale. Eh, sicuri che potete provare a casa e, e Nina ha gentilmente accettato e quindi eccoci qui let's get started we're gonna start with the shoulder circle go forward rounding your back here reaching up up towards the ceiling back squeezing behind and down one now forward rounding your back up and twist together hands two Forward, up, and three, forward, up, and four, forward, up, and five. Now other side, back, up, reaching up, and forward, rounding your back, one, back, up, and forward, two, Back, up, and down, three, back, up, and four, back, up, and five. Now fast, it goes backwards, go back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and forward, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, go down on your knees, put hands forward, and now keep shoulders down. Your feet needs to stay above your knees, and you get to stretch your shoulders. So pushing down as well as possible, try to touch the floor with your chest. Okay, now go to one side two times, one side and two down. We're going to feel the stretch in your legs. So pushing down, shoes are still above your knees. Breathe and relax. Okay, move to the other side. On the side and pushing your shoulders down again. Feel the stretch in your back. Okay. Now you're gonna lay down with your whole body. Open hands like this on 90 degrees. So here and turn away from one hand and now you're gonna put the shoulder down and stay with hand behind all 90 degrees and you're gonna feel a deep stretch here in your shoulders and in your chest. So just holding this stretch a bit. Okay, quindi siamo a terra con le braccia cactus, andiamo da un lato per sentire eh, un forte allungamento nella parte dove restiamo a terra. Ok, and switch to the other side. So, yeah. other side, yeah. the degrees, down and turn away. Okay. 
and back up. Now put hands behind. Okay. Push this forward and go slowly down back with your hands, walking and touch, touch each other. Uh, no need. Okay. It's a minimum shoulder wide. But yes, if you are more flexible, they can touch each other. Okay, quindi la mia 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 now extend legs in front of you. Put hands on the side of your legs. Yeah. Both fingers are turning outside. And you're gonna lift yourself up, engage your core, and now uh, lean forward, pushing hips up, stretch your shoulders here, use your belly, glutes. And slowly down, try not to touch the floor with your glutes and extend that. And again, forward, open, and slowly to forward, open, and down. Three, yeah, nice. Up, open, forward. And down. Four. One more. Open up. And down. Five. Okay. Now you're going to stand up. Open legs. And we're going to stretch our hamstrings. So try to keep straight back as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And just go straight down. You can touch your ankles here. Hold your hands down. Le mani scendono alle caviglie se riusciamo. A terra mantenendo la schiena dritta. Andiamo a allungare la parte posteriore delle gambe. Keep straight knees. And in great engage your quads. Ginocchia tese. Andiamo a lavorare con i quadricipiti. We can move a bit with hips, go one, the other side, just the target different parts. Possiamo andare a destra e a sinistra col bacino per sentire allungare ancora ulteriormente una gamba e l'altra. And grab your elbows. Teniamoci in down. Try to go as deep as possible, reaching with the elbows to the floor. We can do gentle bouncing. Facciamo piccoli bounce. Gentili verso terra. And grab hands behind. And now we're going to reach over with your hands as much as possible. And do the stretch in the shoulders. Ok, provate a fare quello che fa lei, <laughs> se non riuscite fate quello che faccio io. You don't need to go to the floor, just as much as possible, clear your legs. Ok. Andiamo a vedere. Go down on your knees, so you can hand forward, fingers forward. And you're going to lean forward and do the stretch in your knees. And lean back. Okay, that's for the wrist, uh, wrist right? Yeah. yeah. You need to over and warm up your wrist before handstands. And now I'm going to do the same thing that we have very much in the vertical. So, from the quadrupedia, we're going to go in front. 
rimanendo con le mani a terra e spingendo con le spalle in spinta. Ok, now we're gonna turn hands inside, inside and back. Quindi dorso a terra, and turn forward. Okay. okay. Turning it forward. And now we're going to lean back in the stretch and up. Del gomito. E andiamo indietro e torniamo. Then go as low as possible in the stretch. And quanto giù più possibile. Okay, now hold here and start to bend here. Okay, se non qua giriamo i polsi all'interno. It's the end? Okay. The fingers? Yeah, only the fingers. Ah, okay, scusate, abbiamo le, le, le dita verso l'alto. Yeah, nice. Okay, and turn. Out, out, behind. Yeah. Le dita verso, le ginocchia. Okay, back, pushing down, and up. And then. Very nice. And hold. And then in the ball, do the stretch, do the fingers, and extend, and other bend, and extend, and extend, and other bend, extend, and other bend. Extend, Expand and over. Expand. Okay. Shake. Oh, yeah. that works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're going to go in plank. So, squeezing the legs together. Yeah. And with your core here, squeeze your glutes. And now we're going to. Sitting down between your shoulders, you're squeezing shoulder blades together, and I will push away. Yeah, go so down, keeping your energy straight, and push away. Manteniamo bene la posizione. Down, spingo verso la schiena, e spingo con le braccia, avvicino, e allontano le scapole. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. Ten. Okay. And now you can take a arm roller. Or just pull the power. See, I need to do it here. 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 Push belly to the floor, so lower back is almost up in the floor. Okay, so look at And now you're going to open and reach as much as you can. You can bounce here with your shoulders a bit. Il bacino qua è retroverso, okay, quindi l'addominale spinge verso terra e la parte bassa della schiena spinge verso terra e da qui spingiamo indietro e qui bounce con le spalle. 
great here. And up. Okay. Now we can start in the look. Okay. Just move this. Okay, so we're gonna start in plank position. Here, swing side, engage your core in plank. Here, open your core, push out from your shoulders, and now slowly legs up. So, first, legs up. Pushing out from your shoulders, and now you do the knee on one hand and move the other hand closer to the wall. So moving closer, slowly closer, 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 as close as possible. Four, two, three, and slowly down, 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 and now here, legs down, the last one. Huh? This is a basic strength exercise for handstands. And we're going to do this a few times to strengthen our shoulders. Okay, a question. Um, should we always stay like with, uh, with the shoulders pushing out? No, if you are pushing out when you lean on one shoulder and up. So pushing out from this shoulder, down, pushing out. When you're walking closer, you are pushing out, so the whole body weight is coming on that side. If you would sink down, it's best for your shoulder. So you need to always activate your shoulder muscles to push out and push out. You are getting stronger with it, and it's not better for your shoulders. Yeah, quindi, quindi quando andiamo dalla plank, camminiamo indietro, dobbiamo sempre essere in spinta sul braccio che rimane a terra, quindi non cascare giù, non lasciare, ma stare sempre in spinta e mantenere un keep, right, line, the alignment, so, ehm, eh, usare i glutei e l'addome che spinge verso, verso la schiena. Okay, e lo facciamo due volte. We do it two times in a row. Uh, four times. Oh, I'm going to do it. Okay. And when you are walking up, the most important thing, some people usually feel lower back when doing this exercise. So when they're walking up, they sit down, and there's a lot of pressure on your lower back. So the more you engage your core and bring your hips over your shoulders, the easier it is to move up. Because some do it like this, and they cannot move hands. So bringing shoulders and hips in a one line, and that's much easier. Okay, quindi mi raccomando portare il bacino il più possibile sopra le spalle per camminare sia verso il muro che allontanandosi dal muro perché altrimenti diventa molto difficile. Ok, yeah. so really stay in time, squeezing your core, squeezing your legs, don't bend your legs, just move with your feet up and down. Non bene le palle, solo usare i piedi. We're gonna do this three times in a row with a short break in between. Sì, ok. Ready? And go, legs up, up. Now go closer, so pushing out from your shoulder, push out, slowly, slowly, slowly. Go as close as possible and hold. One, two, three, and slowly down, slowly, 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 and the last legs are coming down. Okay, shake your hands a bit. And second time, in plank, legs up, up, and now moving closer, closer, slowly, shifting away from one side to the other side, 
and hold. One, two, three, and slowly down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And the last one, legs down. And shake your hands. And one more time. In a plank. And go, legs up, up. And going closer, 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 as close as possible. Hold, breathe, breathe, and slow down, down, and then moving from one hand to the other one, and slowly down. Okay, shake your shoulders. Now you're gonna lay back. On your back, and we're gonna do hollow body hold. So here you can start with first position. So pushing lower back to the floor, and here shoulder up, and hold it here. So this is the easier. Then you can extend one leg, hold it here, and then switch the other leg. Then the legs is extending both legs. The shoulders are up. Lower back is to the floor. And if you can, you can bring hands over head. Mm -hmm. You need to breathe in this position. And really, you need to touch with your lower back to the floor all the time. Put these legs together, so engage your quads, extend your legs, hold your toes. Three, two, one, and up. Okay, let's do one more round. So, three times up and down, and holding one more body hold. Okay, in just a second, because uh, when I'm holding, the whole body, I can't talk. <laughs> I can't do that with two things together. Allora, ehm, per il secondo esercizio che avete visto, eh, ovviamente l'importante, ma questo lo vediamo sempre a scuola, è di spingere l'addome verso la schiena e quindi mantenere la parte bassa della schiena a terra. Unire le gambe in maniera più attiva, stringerle ehm, fino alla punta dei piedi. Le mani sono accanto alle orecchie. Ok. Good? Yes. Ok. Lo rifacciamo tutto un'altra volta. Second round. Ok, extend your legs. Push out from your shoulders. Squeeze glutes. Engage your core. And now go out with your legs. And move closer, closer. Shifting weights from one shoulder to the other. Go as close as possible. And hold two, three. And slowly down, slowly, slowly. Hands down, down, down. And legs down. Okay, shaking shoulders. And step around. Okay, and go up, up with legs. And closer, 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 moving closer, and hold one, two, three, and slowly down, 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 and legs down, shake, and the last one, ready, go up, and legs up. Closer, 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 moving, and hold, one, two, three, and slowly down, 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 and legs down, okay? So when you go up in handstand, go as close as possible, even if you start just to here, that's okay, but don't push your hips down on the wall, but push them up above your shoulders. So even if you're here like 
one meter away from the wall. That's okay for the beginning. And as you practice handstands for longer, you're gonna get stronger, more confident, and you'll be able to go closer with your hands to the okay. wall. Non è importante quanto vicino arrivate al muro, potete anche arrivare con le mani a mezzo metro, un metro di distanza dal muro, ma è importante non, come avete visto, di non appoggiare il bacino al muro, ma di mantenere sempre il bacino sopra le spalle. Poi quando facendo l'esercizio e ripetendoli, anche si prende la confidenza, la sicurezza per avvicinarsi di più al muro. Um, in case, like for me the third one was really tough. For example, for my for my shoulders, so I didn't go as close as I can. Yeah, that is work. Okay, quindi per me la, il terzo era molto faticoso e non sono arrivata così vicino al muro come le, le volte precedenti perché non lo sentivo. Ho detto va bene lo stesso. And so, usually yeah. people want to learn handstand, but they don't have the basic strength. So this what we are doing is just walking up and down. Just introducing the basic shoulder strength for your shoulders. So, if this was already hard for you, you need to keep practicing before doing any other exercises and just wanting to balance and keep it up in the middle in hands. And it's not going to work if you don't have the basic strength in your shoulders. Okay, quindi questo esercizio ci serve per costruire la forza nelle spalle che ci permetterà poi di fare. La verticale, quindi è un esercizio fondamentale da ripetere il più possibile fino a che siamo veramente tranquilli nel farlo. Altrimenti, comunque, anche se si prova a fare verticale, non funzionerà perché non avremo acquisito la forza necessaria. So, actually, you need to stay on the wall as long as possible. Even uh, the exercise for the balance is on the wall, well, don't be afraid to do Start in the middle, stay on the wall as long as you need. Quindi rimanere al muro, con la pancia al muro, il più possibile è questo che ci permetterà anche dopo negli altri esercizi di costruire quello che ci occorre. Ok, yeah, the... Okay. 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 So start in this position. If you can, you can add one leg and switch to other leg and both legs. It's up to you. So really pushing lower back down, using your glutes, using your quads, pointing your feet, and shoulders are up. And the hardest variations, putting hands over as so much here, but opening as much as possible. So you want to work on your hands and climb. Really? The second more, shoulders are higher, so if this position becomes too hard for you, you can just bend and hold it here. So for you, it's a bit too hard now, so just bend it here, go yeah, higher with your shoulders and hold it here. It's okay. And down. Okay? Okay. Please, it's a little bit Solo body, come abbiamo fatto, come avete visto, potete piegare le gambe, portare le braccia avanti e mantenere quella posizione lì. Yeah, so if you feel pain in your wrist between doing exercises for a handstand, you can just stretch a bit, like turn on um, the opposite way here, yeah, or you can grab it and just like pull out, so like you wanna. Grab for something and pull your hand away. So you make the space in your wrist, really pulling out and pulling out, or you can just hang for something. So it's reducing the stress. In okay. your Dopo aver fatto gli esercizi questi della camminata, possiamo um, far riposare, far allungare i polsi, immaginate come ho fatto vedere prendere qualcosa e tirarvi indietro. Questa è la posizione della spalla, poi afferro la mano e tiro le dita indietro, però sto tirando la spalla in avanti. 
quindi non è qua, è attivo. Ok, ok, now we are going to move on to the second exercise. So we're going to go again up in handstand, walking up and holding there. And so we're going to just hold the handstand as long as possible. So maybe around 30 seconds. If you cannot go longer, you can go back down. You just shake your hands and right. Or you can continue just holding in plank position. So if you are too tired. And at the end of holding your hands, then you need to like save few of your power just so you can go back down safely from the handstand. So you don't just smash down on the floor. Ok, quindi adesso noi risaliamo come abbiamo fatto prima nella verticale dalla plank, saliamo e cerchiamo di mantenere la posizione il più lungo possibile. Quando non ce la facciamo più, però è importante non cascare giù, non mollare il corpo, ma accompagnare e, e se possibile mantenere il resto del, del tempo dell'esercizio, se siamo scesi prima, in plank. Ok. Ok. Get ready. Go to the wall. Ready. So starting again in plank position. And go legs up, up, moving closer, 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 and go as close as possible and just hold here. So we're going to try to hold for 30 seconds and we're going to see who can hold for that long and then go slowly down. 10 seconds, breathe, so push out from your shoulders. 20 seconds, 10 seconds more. Breathe. Push it away from the wall so it's are over your shoulders. And slowly go slowly down, slowly, 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 and down. Okay. Well, this hard. <laughs> okay. I couldn't talk in that, in that position. So, continuate a stare con le spalle in spinta e il bacino dentro verso. Ok. So, once you become stronger and you can just hold the hollow body forward, like squeezing your core, you can easily talk. And so, <laughs> it's not that hard. Yeah. And the point is, you need to breathe in handstand because some people will just stop and then it's super hard. You need to do like shallow breathing, not too much, so you're not switching your way too much, just staying tight and breathing shallow. So the minimum you move with your chest up and down. Okay, quindi. Uh, no, bisogna continuare a respirare quando siamo. Nella, nella verticale, altrimenti poi diventa molto faticosa, però è un respiro superficiale, piccolo, solamente cioè, senza muovere interamente il corpo, quindi mantengo la posizione e faccio dei piccoli respiri, superficiali, diciamo. Yeah. Ok, second round, we're gonna do it three times, so in plank position first, and I'll let it. Up, up, moving closer with your hands, so moving from one shoulder to the other shoulder, and go as close as possible to the wall and hold. Extend your elbows here, breathe, squeeze your glutes, squeeze legs together, extend your knees, and push out from your shoulders. So if you're not sitting down, Pushing out and engaging your upper back. Breathe. Forward. Even if your hands are already shaking, that just means that your muscles are tired. Two seconds more. Five, four, three, two, one, and out, slowly down. Down, 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 
Breathe. Do a stretch. Try to relax your muscles. Out your chest, a bit more shoulder out. Keep straight elbows here, and maybe you're gonna also keep a stretch in your biceps, so actually in your uh, elbows. And that's okay, this means that biceps are super hard and tight, so you need to stretch them anyway. Just go a bit more gentle. So, doing as long as possible. And that's it for today. Ok, allora, oggi abbiamo lavorato su sull'addome, sulle spalle, sulla forza delle spalle. Domani, la, la prossima volta, lavoriamo sull'allineamento, quindi sull'allineamento in verticale. I have a question. Um, to see some improvements, how many times a week should we... Minimum three times a week. Ok. Yeah. Yes. So, it's better to do shorter the lessons like we did today. I mean, if you didn't do quite a lot, you can take longer breaks in between and just do it maybe three times a week. This would maybe take you 30 minutes if you just stick uh, with the exercises. So that's quite okay, like in a week, one hour and a half, that's not much. And then as you progress, you see how much easier you go up in hands and how much stronger are your shoulders and then you can add maybe more sets, so you're not doing two or three rounds, but three, four, five, and uh, just adding more, like the four times, five times a week. Ok, allora, per, per vedere dei miglioramenti dovremmo iniziare a farlo tre volte a settimana, così come ce l'ha fatto lei, anche eh, tenendo un pochino meno l'ultimo esercizio del, della tenuta al muro, e, quando poi, e anche prendendo un po' delle pause un po' più lunghe, diciamo una trentina di minuti, quando poi eh, si inizierà a migliorare, si inizierà a avere più forza nelle spalle, nell'addome, si vedrà come è più facile anche fare salire e scendere e a quel punto si possono aggiungere dei set, quindi noi ne abbiamo fatti due o tre, si può, si può arrivare a quattro o cinque, tenere più a lungo eh, le posizioni. Ok, quindi la prossima volta facciamo un riscaldamento un po' più corto e poi lavoriamo, facciamo più esercizi di modo che possiamo anche unire quello di oggi e il prossimo per un totale di 45 minuti. Thank you very much for being with us, Nina. It's really kind and uh, vorrei ricordare ai ragazzi, Nina um, um, offre dei, dei programmi di back flexibility, splits, eh, quindi spaccate, spaccata frontale, spaccate laterali e, e proprio um, verticalismo. E vi, vi alleghiamo sotto tutti, tutti i contatti dove, dove cercarla, è la pagina Instagram che noi seguiamo. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.